What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we are, once again, doing my absolute favorite event in the game. You know, like, it's just so well designed, so much fun to play. So, uh, yeah, let's just get this over with. Now, the boss this time is a new Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And um, the first thing I always recommend people to do before they jump into these chain battle events is to pop over to the battle info tab and click on battle results because this will show you the high scores that people have as well as what teams they're using for their supporters, what attackers they're using, what uh, connectors they're using. If you guys are confused about you know what to pick in terms of all those things, then this should really help, right? So let's see what the highest score here is. Okay, so we have Seal Man with 123 million. I believe at the time of filming, the cutoff for top 1% is uh, 102 million, 103 million, somewhere around there. So this guy is obviously well above that threshold. And he used LR Bojack as his attacker. The team is a fully rainbowed all Piccolo team. The link is the EZA uh, AGL Piccolo. And then the extreme team is all Bojacks. And then we have the AGL full power Bojack. And you'll see that pretty much everyone is using a very similar combination. So for Zat here, we got LR Bojack attacking, we have all Piccolos once again, and then we have LR Piccolo as the connector. And then for the extreme side, we have all Bojacks, actually one Zhongya, interesting. And then we have the full power Bojack or DK here. Uh, what does he have? Uh, once again, LR Bojack, all Piccolos, AGL Piccolo, and then all Bojacks, and then full power Bojack. Uh, ooh, my boy D. Simons. He has 120 million. Pretty impressive. We got LR Bojack, full Piccolos, uh, the Fizz Piccolo, and then obviously full Bojacks, and then the STR transforming Bojack. So at this point, I'm sure you guys get the idea. You want to bring LR Bojack as your attacker if you have him. If you don't have him, I'm sure one of the other Bojacks can do okay, like the, uh, you know, AGL full power Bojack, the... Um, STR transforming Bojack if you guys summon for him. So try out different combinations. Obviously, not everyone's gonna have all of the best available options to them, right? So as you can see, here's my combination for the first ever attempt. We have LR Bojack as our attacker. Mine has uh, only one dupe, so 69%. And then I was able to find a full Piccolo team. It's not the best one um, I could have found, but it's it is decent, you know, it's okay. Like, this Piccolo is not even Awakened, which really sucks, and he's also at Super Attack 1. But um, this was the only all Piccolo team I was able to find on my friends list right now. And the Bojack team, as you can see, is amazing. Like, we got the LR Bojack in all three forms. We got literally the SSR, TUR, and the LR. And then we have the new STR Bojack fully rainbowed. We have AGL Bojack rainbowed, and then... The SDR Bojack is not rainbowed, but still very good to have. And then uh, my connectors are the SDR Bojack at 79%, and we have my uh, Fizz Piccolo at 100%. So I'm feeling pretty decent about this run. I mean, my Piccolo team definitely is being carried. It's not ideal, but in terms of like links and categories and all that stuff, for the Super Side, we have 28 categories, 3 types, and 26 links. And then for the extreme side, 39 categories, 2 types, and 32 links. So uh, hopefully this is going to be enough for top 1% at the very least. I'm not trying to set a high score on global or anything like that. I just want my rewards for top 1% and then call it a day. Okay, so this is the very first attempt. Let's jump in here. Let's see what happens. Here we go. By the way, everything I said in the beginning of this video, if you couldn't tell, was pure sarcasm. Um, I hate this event. I really, really do. I think uh, it's literally the most boring event in the entire game. Also one of the most frustrating events in the game because of how much RNG is involved. And um, yeah, it's just not fun. It's just not fun. I mean, I appreciate the rewards for sure. I really like summoning for, you know, skill orbs because they're super, super important. But the actual act of doing the event I'm not a huge fan, okay? 
Uh, oh, I was trying to do the whole minimize trick thing, but I forgot. I recently transferred my account from Android to iOS, so uh, we didn't have to do that. So I think we're going to go for triple Bojax, the LR for sure, the new TUR for sure, and either the SSR Int one or the STR one. Um... I'm pretty sure they all share around the same links and categories, so it depends on their stats. Uh, you know what? Let's go for int int str. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're locked in. Let's get it. Give me at least a hundred and five mil. Is that realistic? One ten, maybe. Over a hundred, please. At least over a hundred. <sighs> I'm prepared for disappointment. What's it gonna be? Oh! You know what? That's decent. That That is... That is solid. I think that's good enough to keep us in the top 1%, which is really all I'm after. If I'm being completely honest, you know, like I would like to set a high score of like, you know, 125 mil or whatever, you know, like be the highest among all the Dokkan YouTubers or whatever. But um, I just don't care about this event enough, guys. Like if I'm being honest with you, like I, I really hate it. I just really don't like the fact that it's so heavily RNG dependent, you know. And I know I say this in every single chain battle video. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of it, but I think a lot of you guys feel the same way too. You know, like, based on what I'm seeing on like Reddit and everything, like a lot of people are pissed about this event, especially this one, because like the choices seem to get more and more limited with every single chain battle. You know, like all the units you can use, all the supporters, like this time around it's Piccolos and Bojacks. Like how many people have multiple Piccolos and Bojacks that are rainbowed, that are duped out, right? Like. Not a lot. Even if you have the dupes, like, you don't necessarily want to give orbs to, like, all these different Piccolos and Bojacks. Like, there's only a few that are really decent, right? So, yeah, it's just not really a great event overall. But, hey, we got our rewards. Top 1% achieved. Um, we could try another run here. I don't really know if there's a point considering, like, I did use my best supporters or... Uh, not supporters. My best connectors. But, um... If we can find a good team here, I can jump in again and just, like, see what's up. Okay, like, that's not bad. I mean, we got one nail there, but I, I think that's usable. Um, oh, 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 hold on. This is all Piccolos, right? Oh, that's all Piccolos. Okay, hold on. Um, let's do AGL Piccolo, maybe. That's 27, 1, and 30. Okay, we just need a good Bojack team here. Uh, Char Goku looks pretty good. But there is a Gokua in there. Gokua's like good here for sure. But if you can, you want to bring a full team of Bojacks. A uh, Turles is not terrible because he does share an okay amount of links and categories with Bojack. But once again, full Bojack is the way to go. So I'm going to do a few refreshes here. See if we can find a good Bojack team. We really lucked out. With that first Bojack team though, holy crap, yo, TUR, uh, LR, and SSR on the same team for the LR Bojack was insane. Uh, okay, this is good, D Simons, we got all Bojack and Azania. And if I use my AGL full power Bojack, that's going to be 37, 2, and 32, which is uh, about the same as the last one, I think. Um, slightly worse, slightly worse because of the Zanya, but... Um, definitely usable. Let me see if there's anything else that's better. Hmm, yeah, that's definitely the best we got. So, yeah, back to the Simons. There is the setup, guys. We got all Piccolos. We got all Bojacks plus Zhangya. And, uh, let's jump in. Let's get it. Second attempt. First time, 113 million. Second time, I think it might be a little bit lower. 110, something like that, but if the cutoff right now is 102 million, um, yeah, I think 113 should be good enough. I don't think they're going to increase the cutoff by 10 million over the course of the week. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, okay, Bojack, Bojack, Bojack. That was a little bit slow. That was a little bit slow, but I don't even know if, like, 
that affects your score that much, so I'm not too worried. Um, here we go. Give me... Yeah, at least 110. At least 110. I'm not expecting a better score, because I think the teams are just not as good. But, um... I mean, the Piccolo team might be better, actually. I think the Piccolo team is better. Wow. Look at that difference. We went from 113 to just over 100 million. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. This event is a enigma to me. It really is. Um, you know, a lot of times I get the general concepts. You know, I get like which units to use for my attackers, supporters, connectors, all that stuff. But even then, a lot of times when I feel like, you know, I'm doing the exact right thing, the score still surprises me, whether it's like really high or really low. And, uh, you know, sometimes just knowing which units to use doesn't really help because you can't get the right supporter teams, right? Like, you gotta have good friends that set the right supporters. And even then, you need to get the right combination of units within their supporter team to get a good score. So uh, that's where we're going to end off, top 1% for now, hopefully we stay there, we'll have to see if uh, I fall out then I might come back for a second video, but for now, we're good to go, so thank you guys so much for watching, let me know in the comments down below what your highest score was or is so far, and uh, let me know how you feel about Chain Battle, man, I think I've made my viewpoint very clear, my sentiments about this event very clear, but if you guys feel something different, then definitely let us know in the comments as well and that's gonna be the video thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.